Hi loves, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on my current full coverage flawless foundation routine. It's been a couple of months since my last one, so I decided to update you guys on some of the products that I have been loving lately. I also threw in here my skincare routine. Not that much has changed with that, except like one thing, which I'll explain in the video. But when it comes to a flawless foundation application, it all leads back to skincare. So if you're new to my channel, this is what I've been doing. And if you are a frequent viewer, then you know a lot of these products I've been using for like almost a year now, and I love them. By the way, this is not a full face tutorial like my eyes lips brows all that stuff but if you guys are interested I will leave the products that I used down below in the description box as well as all other information I always leave everything there frequently asked questions nail color what I'm wearing everything so don't forget to check that out in case you are wondering and if you want to see how I get this full coverage face then just keep watching of course I'm starting with my skin as I mentioned. First I'm taking my Biore Blemish Fighting Ice Cleanser. This is the only product that has changed in my skincare routine recently. And I was using a cleanser by the brand Boots and I used to get it at Target and online and I think it's discontinued because I can't find it anywhere. So I started using this about a month and a half to like two months ago. I really love it. I used to use Biore back in high school. It's one of my favorite skincare brands. All of their products make your skin feel like really tingly and minty which I love and typically I will use my Clarisonic with a cleanser that I use but my skin has been a little sensitive lately so I'm just using my fingers so after washing that off I'm taking my Thayer's rose petal witch hazel and you can get this at GNC or Amazon and I love this because it's alcohol free so it doesn't irritate or burn my face but this helps a ton if you have acne scarring or acne I definitely recommend this then to moisturize, I'm using the Boots Botanics Protecting Day Cream. No matter what type of skin you have, it's super important to always moisturize. It makes a huge difference in your routine. So at night, in case you're wondering, I do use the same brand of cream. I just use the night cream. And I like this one a lot because it's really hydrating, but it doesn't weigh my skin down or make it feel really greasy. Then this is a step that I just never skip. It's the Mario Badescu Facial Spray. It's like the rose water one. I love this just for extra hydration. It just makes my face feel really refreshed. And once that settles into my skin for like two or three minutes, I'm ready for foundation. So first I'm taking my Hard Candy Pore Defense Primer Serum. I've been raving about this so much lately. I don't know what it is, but I love this stuff. It does a really good job with smoothing out any imperfections that I have. So what I like to do is focus most of the product on my nose, my cheeks, and on my chin. And then with the extra product that I have on my fingers, I'll just apply it like underneath my eyes and on my forehead. Then I'm taking the NYX First Base Primer Spray. I love this so much because I feel like it really prevents my makeup from looking or feeling heavy on my face. It's amazing. So I spritz a generous amount of this and then I also let that sit for like two or three minutes on my skin just so it really absorbs and my foundation just goes on flawlessly when I apply these two primers. Next I'm using the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation. This one's in the shade 004. I love everything about this foundation. The packaging, the coverage, the finish. It's just gorgeous. So I'm dotting a few dots of this all over I used about two pumps I honestly feel like you don't need more than that because it is such a full coverage foundation I feel like it just gives such a natural healthy finish but it just really doesn't feel like a full coverage foundation it feels very light on my face which I love and I think this is a really good uh, foundation if you have dry or oily skin because it doesn't cling to any of my dry areas but it also doesn't make me excessively oily so I would try it out because it really is amazing you just can't go wrong with it Next, I'm taking my baby. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Sand number 20. I don't know what it is, but Maybelline concealers are definitely probably the best ones at the drugstore. I feel like they just give off the best coverage and they feel the best and look the best on the skin. So I know this looks like a lot of concealer and that's because it is a lot of concealer. I always like to conceal and highlight my face. So I'm just applying this also all over my lids because I'm not gonna do a lot of eyeshadow today. So I wanna conceal any veins or discoloration. Then to set my foundation and concealer, I'm using the RCMA No Color Powder. I picked mine up online. It was like $10 plus like $6 shipping. I got it directly off of their website. But what I'm going to do is just take this on a precise tapered brush from Sigma and I'm just going to apply this on the areas where I applied the concealer just to really focus it and set everything nicely so that nothing moves. The only thing I don't like about this powder is how messy it is. Um, it does get everywhere but honestly I don't really mind too much because it really is a beautiful powder. 
So once that's finished, I go in and I take the same powder on a different brush. This is a powder brush by e.l.f. and I'm just going to be applying that to the other um, spots where I don't have concealer, basically on my cheeks and my forehead and my chin, and just kind of blend that out. I know it looks a little crazy at first, but once you blend it in, it looks flawless. Then to bronze and contour, very naturally, I'm using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Deep. This is basically a really dark powder, but I love the MAC Mineralized Skin Finishes. They are just beautiful. They're like butter. They go on so smooth, and I just love them. So I'm going to just give myself a really natural contour because today I'm doing a very natural makeup look. If I do something more intense, then I will do a really dramatic contour. But for today, I wanted to just keep it simple. So I'm just bronzing my skin, basically. Then for blush, I'm using Using the Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. Isn't this gorgeous? I can't get enough. I'm going to mix a couple of the shades in here just to create my perfect color and just give me a really natural flush. You just need to dab your brush in here a little bit because this palette is extremely pigmented. I love it. Then to highlight my face, of course, I'm using the Lorac Illuminating Highlighter in the shade Daylight. It's like a beautiful champagne highlighter. It kind of reminds me of Champagne Pop, but it's really, really, really intense. So you really just need a little bit, but you know, I went overboard because I love highlighting my face. Like, I don't know why I never used to highlight my face before, but I can't get enough. Last but not least, I'm taking the NYX Primer Spray once again, and I'm just going to set my entire face. I know it's like a primer spray, but I like to use it to set my makeup as well. So that does complete my foundation routine. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know what you think down below. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.